database, we are given an option to create forms. In Microsoft Access 2016, which is in the database application that we are using, we can create a form from one record at a time. We can use create a form, a blank form in the design view, or we can create a form with no controls or formatting, and we can create a form using the form wizard. For this tutorial, we will look at creating a form using the form wizard. Firstly, we click on the create tab in our window and then select form wizard. So by selecting form wizard, the dialog box opens, which allows us to enter or select the fields that we would like to be available in our form. You click on a field and select the arrow to add it to the table where the selected fields will appear. So in this case, we would like student first ID, first name, and last name. You click Next. And you have several options for your layout, columnar, tabular, datasheet, justified. Let's select Justified and click Next. There are several options where you can open the form or modify the form's design. So let's open the form to view or enter in date information and click Finish. And here you can see the form that we have just created with three fields, student ID, student first name, and student last name. At the bottom of the screen, you can scroll through the records for each of your 10 students or each of the students in your students table. And you can add fields, different fields to create different forms. So this was simply creating a form using the form wizard. You will notice in the left pane of your screen that a new access object has been entered into your pane. So we have our students table and we have our students form. At the top of the screen, you can select the tab to toggle between the table and the form. Let's add another form to our database using the same students table. If we select the field and select the arrow, it goes across to the selected field. If we select the second double-headed arrow, all fields are sent to the selected fields area. We can send all fields back or send back available fields one at a time or send all back to the available fields table. So in this form, we would like to add student ID, first name, last name and area of residence. Click Next. Let's select another layout. We selected data sheet, Next, and Finish. So here you can see the data sheet view of the form that we have created. Student ID, student first name, student last name, and area of resident, area of residence. So the form layout that you have chosen will determine the form's appearance uh, when it is printed as well as its appearance on screen when you are using the database. It is therefore important to note that forms can be customized based on the field name or the selected field that you have chosen for the information to be displayed in the form format. For example, 
In this form, we have chosen to display student ID, first name and last name, while in the second form, the student's ID, first name, last name and area of residence is being displayed in the form format. So you can go ahead and customize your form depending upon the information or data that you would like to display using the form wizard.